thank you everyone for joining with me because this is not a personal issue this is a issue related with the land and before we start i would like to share with you why it is so important as i was sitting today in the morning what they showed me was so beautiful i asked them why is so much happening in my body you said ascension and i did all the process for the ascension so even after completion of ascension why is so much pain in my body the answer i got was the whole series of ascension and it was very beautiful they said when you first ascend the first step of ascension is your individual ascension you release your past life karmas your issues of the past your traumas your pain everything that you have inside you that you have been carrying through the generations and which is not allowing you to move out of this cycle of life and death so the first ascension is when you leave behind your personal issues you can become really detached to your family your issues everything and you move to the first level of ascension the second level of the ascension is your connection to the land around you it is your country wise or area wise based ascension you need to heal that area the area where you are and all the issues related to that area then i'm not saying everything will change as you ascend to the next level but you will have healed a lot of your presence in those things like i was having a great pain in my right arm and the pain was till the right finger that i could not lift anything for the last two weeks and it was said that it was from past life wars so i was wondering that if my personal issues are resolved what is this pain for and what war is this then i was told that this is the war that you have fought for your country for saving your country for saving your land saving your motherland or any issue which was not directly my personal issue so this is the second step of the issue that we have to heal so when you are on the process of ascension it is always good to heal whatever is coming in front of you you may think that the healing of this land especially of india is not needed to me because many of you are from outside countries you may think why but most of you who are here have had multiple lifetimes in india and as you have had multiple lifetimes in india what happens is as you have multiple lifetimes in india you have faced all these personal issues all this um, land issues all these ancestral patterns that india has so when you are going to the second level of ascension you need to heal these things these ancestral patterns that are linking you to the land the third level of ascension is when you heal things related to the planet suppose your planet has been attacked by other forces and you were defending your planet that is the third level of ascension the fourth level of ascension is when you move beyond the planet and you are working on the universal level that is what they told me that is the fourth level when you are a representative as a universal being then the next level is when you are a cosmic being then there's a super cosmic to be frank i didn't understand what happens when you are in this super cosmic being but the seventh level what i understood was when you ascend to the seventh level you merge with the divine back to the divine so this is why you need to heal everything beyond yourself also that is why you need to heal the land around you you need to heal the area around you you need to heal your country your continent the whole that is why we will be going into this ancestral so some patterns they have said all patterns will not be possible to be done in one go so the two three patterns that they have given me today i will be doing it so we'll do it in a meditation mode so i ask all of you to please close your eyes as and i thank you all again once more for joining me in this divine healing process which will not only heal you but it will heal the land 
and many stones. And since it is new moon, the new moon energies are still there. And the Navratri, which you know is the Gupta Navratri, is the celebration of the divine goddess starts today. So that is why today is a very powerful time for this kind of healing. So I ask you all to close your eyes and center yourself, bringing your energies back to yourself from wherever it is scattered. Breathing into your heart center and breathing out long, slow breaths, releasing everything which is not needed in your system now. Keep on doing this as I invoke the masters and as the master's energies come in, every pattern which is not needed for you will be released from you. So keep on breathing long, slow breaths into your heart center and releasing from your heart center everything that needs to be released. We call on the creator of all creators, the divine source energy, the father of all creation from which we have come. We call on our father God, our mother God, the light lineage from which we have come. We call on all the gods and goddesses across all dimensions of time, space, and frequencies who have always supported us through all our lifetimes, through all our incarnations, in all civilizations, in all timelines, we request them to come and support us now. We call on all the ascended masters, all the living masters, all the masters in the inner realms of the earth, the masters of Amanti, we request you to support us in this healing today. We call on all the galactic masters, the star masters, the masters of the galactic federation, the masters of the intergalactic councils. We call on the holy councils of love, light, healing, ascension, your individual ascension council, the masters of the karmic council, the masters of the Akashic records, the council of elders, the councils of 12, the councils of nine, the councils of seven, the councils of five, the councils of three and the holy council of one. All the divine beings are now with you. We call on all the energy vortexes of earth, the universe and beyond. We call on all the celestial temples of earth, the universe and beyond. We call on the angelic realms, the unicorn collectives, the dragon collectives, all the celestial whales, mermaids, fairies, and every supporting energy of the creation, including the seven rays of the universe, the ultraviolet rites, the rainbow energies, the different consciousness, the alpha consciousness, the omega consciousness, the Krishna consciousness, the Christ consciousness, the diamond consciousness, the platinum consciousness, all this different varied consciousness, all are coming to you now. And as you sit here, Father, Son, Mother Moon, and all the mighty planets, not only of this galaxy, but across the galaxies, as you are a multidimensional being, all those planets where you have been at, attuned to, connected to, they all send their energies, their blessings to you. Receive. Receive with your open heart. Letting all logic go beyond. Understanding that we are multidimensional energetic beings. That all these energies come through you, mixed with the creator energies as the golden and white light of the creator flows through you. It flows through you, every chakra, from the highest of the high chakra, it flows down, comes through your crown chakra, moves down to your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, to your heart chakra, to your solar plexus chakra, to your sacral chakra, to your root chakra, to your link chakra, to your ankle chakras, from there to your earth star chakra, and 
it merges with the crystalline core of Mother Earth, all these energies. And Mother Earth now sends her beautiful combination colors of green and pink and silver and yellow and a little mixture of red as it sends these beautiful energies, new energies that which she has never sent back to you. And it moves up from your earth star chakra through every cell of your body, through every organ of your body, through every system of your body, through every gland in your body, to your nervous system, through your nari systems. It moves up from your crown and merges with the divine creator energies above. Now you are in a beautiful pillar of light. And this pillar of light is totally connected to every divine energy of the creation. And as you stand in this pillar of light, your guides, your higher self, all support you and come and stand around you. And now we are a huge mass of numbers. And as we stand in this pillar of light with our guides, with our beloved light beings around us, there comes a cloud from above. And today we are not being taken up to any temple. There's a huge crystal, a very deep pink color. And a lot of archangels and angels are bringing it to us. This huge crystal of deep pink color comes down with this cloud and it is handed over to us. And we are asked to embed this crystal, put this crystal inside the crystalline core of Mother Earth for her healing. It is we, the humans who are on this planet Earth, who can heal Earth because it is our contract to heal Earth and the divine beings cannot interfere. They can only assist us. So it is our duty to embody this crystal inside the crystalline core of Mother Earth. So let us now, in a circular way, hold this crystal and let us now slowly move down into the crystalline core of Mother Earth, which is like a huge golden lava burning. She has a lot of fierce energy today, as if all the trauma, all the pain has surfaced. Let us now gently put this huge crystal into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. And as we put this huge pink crystal, which is much deeper than rose quartz, which is of a very high frequency, gifted to us by the angelic realms to heal Mother Earth, we put it inside her crystalline core. And the whole energy of the crystalline core changes. And as the energy of the whole crystalline core changes, Suddenly from the middle of the crystal, there sprouts a huge lotus. It is a lotus gifted to us by Mahavtar Babaji and all the council of earth who are overlooking the ascension of earth, who are really taking care of us, all those masters, they gift us with this huge lotus, which is rising from the crystalline core of this crystal. And they ask us to sit on this huge lotus in a circular way. Let us all sit on this huge lotus in a circle. In the middle of this lotus, there is a huge jar of water. This water is from the Kailash Manasarovar. 
and surrounding this jar is a golden snake from Lord Shiva protecting this water. We sit in silence with folded hands on this lotus. And slowly, we seem to hear all around us deep cry, deep trauma, deep pain. People are crying, people are howling, people are simply screaming in pain. There seems to be a row of people around us, endless people, endless souls, all seem to be crying, weeping, beating their breasts. Some are in deep dejection, deep depression. And as we look at them, we realize they're the victims of all the centuries of trauma inflicted on them in a land of spirituality where they lost their original essence of spirituality and divided themselves into castes. They forgot the teachings of the Vedas. They forgot the teachings of the Puranas and they played this huge, very negative system of casteism. where some people were totally not allowed to enter a temple because it belonged to the higher caste. People were not allowed to take water from the well because it belonged to the higher caste. You can see children dying because of lack of water. Children dying because the Doctor was only for the higher castes. There's sorrow, there's pain, there's trauma. Beautiful girls are taken away to be used as prostitutes. They're made to do the menial of the menial tasks. There's so much pain. Some have been thrown out of the society and they die in solitude without even a proper burial just because someone of the higher caste did not want them to be here. They're crying and with it, the land is crying because all trauma, all pain that we have in our beings is absorbed by Mother Earth, is absorbed by the land we are on. And that is why even after the death of certain persons, you can feel the energies in the rooms where they used to live. The whole land is full of pain, full of trauma. You can see people been whipped. People been beaten up just because they dared to walk in front of a higher caste house. You can see people been beheaded. Tortured without food. Not allowed to use oil in their food, only allowed to eat food which was cooked with water because they belong to the lower caste. Denied education, denied wisdom. You can see a cacophony of pain around you. 
of every kind that they suffer. Some are unbearable, too traumatic, as they have been cut off, their hands and feet have been cut off and they've been left to die. Some have been buried alive with so much pain of the centuries. Masters ask you, whatever healing modality you believe in, and if you don't believe in any healing modality, just send love and light to these souls who are standing and crying all around you. Just send love and light to all the souls who are standing and crying around you. Each soul is crying. The whole land is crying with the pain. You can see the pain flowing through Mother Earth. In every particle of her body, the pain of all the souls crying. The trauma, the disrespect shown to them. They're not, not having the right to eat, not having the right to drink, not having the right to worship, not having the right to choose a profession of their own. Just feel the pain, feel the trauma and send the healing energy from your hand. Just let the healing energy flow to every being who is around you. Many of these beings are still stuck on earth. That is why the masters asked to do it on the new moon day, so that all the souls could be released to the light. Send your healing energies, send your healing love and light from your heart to each of the soul. Let all the souls heal themselves of the trauma, of the pain. And as you send this healing energy to all the souls who have been suffering, who have been subjugated to such horrific lives, just see the healing light entering their beings, healing their pain, healing their trauma. We talk of reservations. We talk of a lot of things. But we don't understand that if we are of a different caste now, which does not get reservations, it is because in some lifetimes, we have tortured the same people, and that is our karma fall. We are being given back all these things because once we misuse these things, Millions of people have been traumatized, subjugated to fates worse than death. And all that trauma is in the land. Land is also crying. Now let us bless the land. Bless the land with all the healing, light and love, releasing all this trauma of untouchability, all this trauma subjugated to people who are forced by caste system to live lives less than death. Sending the divine healing light into the land now. I ask the Council of Love to shower, a shower of crystals which will heal the land, energetic crystals which will go into the land and modify the energy of the land which has been subjugated to such trauma throughout the yawns. And I would now request Ritu to give the codes to heal the trauma of untouchability.
energies of this crystals are now flowing inside, deep inside all the particles of this land. Mata session with the good son. Yamata theatre is a cashier of Malaya Tekan and Mandalaya Sasha Makon Terosasa Sinin Sasia Sasiana Um Ninka Ika Iteresa Shiloko Maya Taleata Sasaya Nimam Titi Saka Ushiate Tiamanke Atelia Sakashi Motorotos Sasenime and Tala E Mamu Motur Sishi. Kimi alate ara sakashi na makaleata no no sakanti na man na na te sa to sa te sheti ni man ke atas sakashi na makoto liotoro sante si ashan te ala makote asante ni man ke asashi na mahong koto sashi na me an taleata ata si shi shi no to 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 sam taiyati ni hang ka se shi 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 na katera la kato sa te na matiti sotan. Due si asia namati tera lata sesia namakata iretia namasakoshiati. Each crystal which is falling deeper into the core of Mother Earth is blossoming. Amanshi at the Aramahate, the Aramatoto sesia namati. In a manga lela mo lo 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 mina nene lela mata la e amako uso koshesia namati la matete ototo. Imela hate te te ramatoko to the glens and clearing. Mokoshiama yetera sakashia namatoko to sat there. Satya Shane and the Lahati got the Sakoshianami and Kotoro Satya Shanami and the Lata. She came in the session, a matahoto to Shishan, a theater, a matakata ten, a matakata ten, a matakoto to Shisha. She has Shashian, Mikoto to Tutin, a matakoto to Roloho to Kototo to men and Sikashan, a tela, it is a ten, a matakoto. Imantel Sikato. Homesha Shani Kiama Lehakatia Ramatakatia and Mahaya Moko Session Amati and Amatera Lahaka Session Mete Tera Moko Toto Sante Shia Shiane Homel Sakash Santi, Santi, Shoko, Ututu, Sene, Shenamaya, and Nanan, Nen, and Tera Sasakasi, Sianse, Sianse, Siana, Momontia, at the Ulo, Ulu, Utea, Naseka, Shomokotete, Enameatara Late, let's lift, lift this web of karmic print. Yamata Shishanamatu, Sishanamate, Tera Hates, Shenamata, La Tera, all the fairies, dragons, unicorns are ready to lift, lift these. Imata Shanamatu, that Tessashe. Nimanga Tessica Shena Matacorolo, Tatian, Mencalea, Lamaco, Uman and Catia Saka, Sicasi and Ne Santa Isho, Tatia Tessa, and America Tessena Machinati, Nalea Tela, Romuro, Turu Sakashena, Mentale, Uman, Kuru, Rutu, to see she naming the tea, and a matele lifted higher, 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 higher into the source, into the source energy, Mushoko Shena Matela, Lela Makota, Shishenam tea. Premianka Nana and Kahi of course a shen of a kuku mana and a teta sakashi a ti Kamatalia to 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 tarmenti ti sakashana matira makoto sakashana matila emen koko ko i i shakata ta i i monko uto sakashane and telahetto tilehatto tarmante sasia sia sia nam nana nana nam to 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 shatta Hamayate Sikashana Mantelia Toto Sante Shana Matara Tia Tana Mantila Lela Mumma Maya Reta Sata Tia Sia Tia Sa Sia Sa Moko Shio 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 Tatia Tana Matito Satete Sate Shiki Mato Dosa Shishena Inta Sienta Sienta A beautiful filled with this beautiful energies are blowing on the surface and inside the core of Mother Earth. Shananshi, Sananshi, Sananshi, Sobet, Sobet, Sobet. As this energy is moving through the Earth, Mother Gaia in her form of Tara is standing here next to me. She's crying. She's crying tears of joy because 
the trauma of so many lifetimes are being lifted because we have just set the intention but our setting the intention has brought a mass of beautiful beings from all over the universe and beyond who are helping mother Gaia to release this trauma this trauma of discrimination of untouchability of caste system that has really caused suffering to millions of people on the land of India. And in many other countries also, they are telling me, there have been discrimination in the form of untouchables. All over the world, there are areas where people who have leprosy or other diseases, or because of certain crimes, they are totally made untouchables and are are stressed from society. All those people, all those land also healing along with this. And Mother Gaia, Mother Tara is so happy and she's crying. With her presence, we now move forward to the other very traumatic part, which is dowry deaths. All over India, Middle East, in many countries, which call themselves civilized, even Britain, there has been the system of dowry. Dowry, which the girl brings when she comes to the marriage from her parents to the in-laws. which had become in the beginning a system to give equal distribution of wealth to the girl, later became a very vicious system circle, as you all know. And instead of society becoming civilized and the dowry deaths reducing, if you really study the statistics, you'll understand the amount of dowry deaths that are still going on and it is increasing day by day. Every woman who has not even died, but has been subjected to emotional abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, because of dowry, because of money, because of property, is filled all over the world. Some very rich families also have this kind of a torture without it being very open to the world. Each divine feminine who was subjugated to this trauma of dowry, torture, of not bringing enough dowry as wanted by the in-laws or because of greed, non-stop wanting money from their parental side whatever the cause, every time a woman was beaten up, every time a woman was emotionally, mentally tortured, and every time a woman found no excuse, no area to fly to just to go to death, either her death by suicide or death by burning or by murdered by the family members. Each time such things happen, in the land, the whole land was cursed. It carries the curse of the divine feminine being burned, being killed, being murdered, being tortured. You may think that I gave my wife a few slaps, it does not matter. I tortured her a few days, you may think it does not matter. But the energy of those abuses, the energy of those traumas are embedded in the land. It is embedded in every divine feminine and it is reflected in our divine feminine, the divine supreme goddess. She carries the wound of every divine feminine being tortured on earth. And so with the permission of the divine goddesses, 
I ask you to see, look around you, our lotus, and see all the different forms of torture that are going around you on the divine feminine. You've been shown, shown different glimpses of torture in so many different forms. Even men not allowed to take the baby, not allowed to be with the baby, kept in a dark room. Different kinds of tortures you will be shown as you look around from your seat in the lotus. Torture meted out to women across the centuries in the name of dowry, in the name of marriage. Just see all those souls crying. It may have been you in some other lifetime. It may have been your daughter in some other lifetime. It may have been your sister in some other lifetime. You, in your soul, you carry the pain. As most of you will be feeling a lot of pain in your heart chakras. The pain of torture, the pain of emotionally, mentally suffering because of money, because of dowry, has been rampant all over the world. And in every house, in every society, in every locality, in every culture, in every religion who supported this, it created a huge curse. I call on all the divine gods and goddesses, especially the mother goddesses, Mother Isis, Mother Mary, Ma Lakshmi, Ma Saraswati, Ma Parvati. Every divine goddesses in every culture, I ask you to come and surround this lotus and send your divine healing energies to each of the soul and to the land. Whole of Mother Gaya, because Mother Gaya being feminine suffered with all of the souls. Let your healing, blessing energies flow to each of the soul. Send the healing, send the energies. And even if you don't believe that you were part of it, Understanding that we have had multiple lives on a Mother Earth and many lifetimes were in such cultures where there was dowry, where there was untouchability. Ask divine forgiveness from each of the souls who have suffered. If you had any role to play in untouchability, in dowry deaths, in female infanticides, because the Divine Feminine is saying there have been so many deaths of females before birth, after birth. Testing and seeing whether it is a female or a male in the womb and then destroying it. All this trauma, all this torture, you may have meted out or you may have received, or you may have been a participant, or you may have just been seeing this around you. In whatever form you were a witness, ask divine forgiveness from each soul who suffered because of untouchability, because of dowry deaths, because of female infanticide. This is ancestral, trauma at the most awful way that we can have. This is a lineage, this is the most horrible lineage that we can carry. It is time for Mother Earth to ascend, it is time for us to ascend, and we need to release and leave behind all this trauma, all this pain. So asking divine forgiveness from every soul who have suffered so, 
asking forgiveness if, if you have contributed in any way to any soul being tortured in this way, any soul dying before even being able to live one day. Some children are fed broken pieces of glass just to kill them. Some are thrown into the well. Some are buried alive just because they're females. Even if it was not you, it was in your land, it was in your earth. So asking divine forgiveness for not being able to save these souls who have died because of torture, who have, who have died because of abuse in any form. Ask divine forgiveness because as you heal the divine feminine, you heal the earth because there's a huge imbalance of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And in 2022 is the time when the patriarchy is going to slowly collapse and equality is going to come back to earth. This is the beginning of the time of equality, of balance. So send your healing energies to each and every soul around you who are suffering, whom you can see who's crying in pain. Ritu, I ask you to please give the quotes for healing of the body deaths and the infanticide. Shanama yaha taasika shanama hati hati te mokosa shanama laha yate karamata te se shene. They're showing me the huge figure. In that figure, it's dim. And each soul, as it releases, this figure will glow beautifully with this beautiful yellow golden light. Showing me some of you have the ability to pluck those souls which are deep buried meshikasya tena mahantu kutta shishya na mahantu lahatu kutta masi shi hara lahatya tena mahantu kutta shishya na nti namayan dhali ato to sa sa si shi kamayata lahatu kutta na mati tera mana ne ne masai sa siya tera ma shoshi ti shina ti ita tal la lo ma te le le ma amma ma sa si si kate ya shi mangko tera ma yane kate ala sa kashya na mati tena dhali ata ana mangka si kisho man ne na manti so ta ta tera mana na nti shi kate ya se kosho te ono mati le te उमतेमकोशिया Releasing the girl child from the pain. To me, the hush and a mahante hara that the sush and a mahante early marriage. Me, the 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 sush and a mahante hara that the that the sakash and a mianko sakash and a minti. Nella yata hara that the sakash and a mianto ko sante hara la hara that the sush and a minti la oto to sati. तेरा मत कच्चे शिष्य ना मैं तेरा लाये करा मैं रो रो ते ऐसा काश ना मैं लो उत्ते से शिष्य ना मिंती निम्का ले ले माना ना 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 ये ते कत्ते शिष्य ना महुन तो करे ते शिष्य ना मिंती निकारे ले ते कत्ते रा महो से कच्चे ना मैं तेरा लाये कत्ते शिष्य ना मैं ती कर ना रा ते कत्ते सीती ती शिष्य Release, release, release. Imate shishya namata kata te te na mahantu sushya namati kara mahan te se ka sashe. Ruma na ne ade ka te arala ko sashya namati hantu kato sashya namati arala haya na yanti kata saman ninti. Namankaya sashya namahan te arala haya te arama sa aso sasaya te kata reta sasanta. 
ಮೋ from their deepest sorrows shemanta kata sa namaha yala hata kata se shara mahonto tso sasya te te nimankaya shishi namata kata te te namata te te ramalaya te 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 saaya maane ne nimankaya te sa sa se shana mahkura ya te raham te kata se shana mahanta lo to ta namanti namana ante ante kamaya te se shana namata release 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 some of them are releasing through your sacral mia shara ya hata la hata la te ramaha ta te te namahante ka se shana mahi as some of our soul paths are stuck so our soul uh, sacral chakra is getting heavier in pain suffering ma shara hala te 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 ter mahala te te ter mata to to shashya nama tira tala ta te nama ta ta te nama ta ya 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 sa shashya nama ta to to te ra ta ta ne ande sa ka shya nama hara la ta ko to si ka shya nama tira la ha ta te sandhe nimangalya umanga se ashu mo mo yo ko te ra se shya nama ti nimale ya ta 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 na ande te sa ka shya shya nama ta ra la he te ra ma ko sa shya nama ti ra la ha ta ta ne te nimakatte se kashyana mahante re hata rahamate they want us to release from the mens as well these energies as in this lifetime they come as a masculine energy mashira mahante kashya kashyana mahante karo to sashana mahante la hate ramata ka yo namayanti naga sika shena mahale hata karamate re hasa kashyana mahante rama sasasya te sishya shena mahante karo mayana nena sakashyana mahante le hata kashya kashyana mahante karo to ramate ra sakasya ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ಶ್ಯಾಮಂತ <laughs> let this pain to be surface man shikaya tera mahanto ko session man tere kara re atya ne anka se kashana mahanto ko sakashana mahira la hat ka ta session man tala ho to ko ta session man to karo tumaya hane anka kashana man tere ho te na mata ka ta session man tala ya ne na ne ne te ka sakashana ma na ma na ma na me anta sa sa ya te ko shishana maya tala haya la ya ho ma te ka ta sishi ne me anka tere la hat ka session man te tere maya te ka ta session man to te session man te tere la ta ye te na man ko session man te kara la te tere man ko to ka session me tere hala ka ta san te tu ma shia 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 na mati shia na man te ka tere ma la ho to ka ta session man te kara sa ka shia na me anto kro so ka shia na anto ro lo ho ti ti sa tere sa ಮಾಯಹಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್ಯಶ್
mango share mahatya na mo ka ye o ya ek auto se kya she na mati ra liya la to lord krishna mian tarah ta se she share a tere te na ma ye ke tarah la ki mo to ko se she na mohon ko te tor ma to se te mo la ho to to se she na mati te te na ma la te 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 je joining the hands all the goddess is standing here for helping and assisting us in releasing this we share all that the tema the combining combining the masculine divine masculine divine feminine energy siman shia hosoko shishan me antere shishan mahayo ko shishan yam te asat te asya shishan restoring the balance of eons 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 iman deshya shimaya te gase ka mashi ko to rosan nera te la sakashya maya te sahi masculine and feminine divine masculine and feminine energy storing me at ashana me anta ko to satya santa siyanta shi ko te asyashin me hata ishya shya 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 mo ko te asante sha shi mai yatte so na ye ko re te shi ke mai shi ko ro ta asyashin me te ne ma ye o ko te asyashin me a te ti su si si shya shya sho mo te core of mother earth not only this souls of untouchability dowry and infanticide a lot of child souls have come up children who have been subjugated to torture by to slavery to bonded labor to prostitution to a lot of negativity like rape and buried alive in the land in the jungles so many souls have come up as the courts were going on they're crying they're coming up and crying coming up and crying little children so many children misused all over the world sold to slavery sold to prostitution all the souls have come up some souls of the even the alive children were in bonded labor who are in slavery in some form in this lifetime now they have also joined in and they are asking for your healing energies please send your healing energy to every soul especially the children who are crying for healing all the children all of you know how children have been misused in this world across the eons it is time to stop it it's time we heal the children it's time we give liberty to all the children who have been tortured and buried tortured and buried tortured and buried please send all the healing energies to all the souls around you who have come up with the healing codes with the healing that we are doing for mother gaya all the children have come up all the tortured tortured souls have come up all these people who have died in slavery who have never been given a proper burial who are still stuck on earth all have come up we request you to send your healing energies your divine healing energies to each one of them you may feel how can my healing energy affect so much no but with the combined effect of all your guides all the divine around you each one if you send in healing goes a long long way please send healing in whatever way you can to each of the souls around you all have come up all are crying mother gaya is crying please send healing to all the souls and we collectively call on all the angels of transition 
divine archangel, especially Archangel Michael and his band of mercy, Archangel Raphael and his healing team, Archangel Metatron and his thousands of angels, every Archangel and their teams, angels of transition, Lord Shiva, Mother Kali, we ask you all to come and lift all these trapped souls to the light, to the light, to the light. Please, every one of you, send light so that these souls can go to the light. All have been trapped in the through eons in Mother Earth. Please send healing light to all these souls so that can be, they can be released. All the souls are now releasing to the light, 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 light. The Creator is taking them to be released from the agony, from the pain, from the trauma, from the helplessness that they suffered on earth. Send your healing light, your blessings to each of the soul so that they may reach the light, reach the light. Yes, dear ones, it is okay. It is okay to leave the earth now and go to the light. It is okay. It is okay. You are assisted. You are taken care of by the angels. Please hold their hands. They will take you to the light. Each child, each children who is out there crying, dear one, understand. You don't have to cry anymore. You are taken to the light, taken to the light, taken to the light. The angels, the gods and goddesses are there to assist you. Send your healing energies to each soul, each soul. And we ask for all the soul fragments of all the souls to come back to them. Rinse, cleanse and fill with the God light so that they are healed completely. All the traumatic soul fragments which they lost in this incarnations on earth. We ask all to be returned to them. Rinse, cleanse and fill with God's light. Restored to the original blueprint to be restored into each and every soul who are ascending to the light. Let all the trauma, all the pain, all the helplessness, all the hopelessness, all the betrayal energies that they felt because they have been betrayed by the close ones. They have been sold off by the mother fathers also. Let all these energies heal deep inside each child, as Mother Quinine and Mother Mary go around putting healing crystals into each soul, each one of them is now glowing like a crystal, assisted and taken to the light. All the masters, all the guides, all the divine gods and goddesses, thank you for holding the space for me. Keep on sending light. The thousands of souls who are now moving up. Let them move to the light, to the light, to the light. Lord Shiva now comes inside the lotus, stands in the middle of the lotus, and picks up this water carrier jug, the vessel in which the water of Mount Kailash was. And he now sprinkles it on all the souls who are ascending, who are leaving earth now, going to the light. And as each drop of this water falls on each one of them, all the trauma, all the pain, all the torture that they have faced is released, is released, is released. As these drops of water fall on you also, as he sprinkles it, release all your trauma, all your pain. Just give it to Lord Shiva. He's there to take it from you. All your cares, all your worries, all your pain. Six beautiful fairies. I don't know exactly if they're fairies also. Beautiful beings with wings come inside this lotus and they dance. This is a dance of celebration. This is a dance of victory. This is a dance of peace. This is a dance of joy. As thousands and thousands and thousands of souls 
are being released from Mother Earth today. This is a time of celebration. Let the energies flow, flow, flow. I feel someone is getting a song that the fairies are dancing. If anyone is getting it, please sing it. See the whole area transformed into golden, white, pink light. Whole of Mother Kaya flowing, transforming, transmuting all those negative energies. Keep on sending love and light because thousands of souls are moving up. All your guides, all your masters, all your gods and goddesses, thank you individually for taking part in this divine healing. We bless you, Martha Babaji, and all the council of earth. Many masters are there, Lord Melchide, Lord Matre, Lord Buddha, Master Kutumi, Mother Green Tara, Mother Golden Tara, Mother Red Tara, all are there. Many, many millions of masters and gods and goddesses. They all bless you. Ritu, I think a chant is going to come from the masters for the blessing. Let these blessings from your crown chakra come all the way down in your heart chakra. Kumai ur sante sata oma ikutariasi. Ikuna la lele mokar rate ko kushikia. Ayakuma ita sase se. Tisi sanayo komarata sako shukuti arati se kia sante. Sante yashe shiki marate ati shukoya te la tasa sanete. Sasanya te te kaso shomaya ti ti si amaya ko te se shako maya ti ti sante. Ti sante, let your heart chakra glow brighter, wider, and integrating with the heart chakra of Mother Gaya. Sante, 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 sante. So be it. Thank you for the beautiful chant. Thank you, divine gods and goddesses. We are divinely grateful for giving us this opportunity to heal Mother Earth. And this outflux of souls will continue for the next 48 hours. So whenever anyone is sitting in meditation, please send love and light to these souls so that their journey becomes easier. They have been tortured and traumatized and stuck inside this earth for so many eons, some of them. Some of them are very old souls. But no one has taken the care to send them. Please keep on sending love, light and blessings to them. Thanking all our divine guides, guides and goddesses, all the divine masters, every supporting energy of the creation. Thanking Mahatma Babaji for the beautiful lotus. To slowly come back to our room, to our place. 
thanking the universe for allowing us to be part of this divine, divine healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Sir.